Yo, what's up, Ali? How you guys doing? Apa kabar? And selamat pagi. Guys, do you know if you buy a local phone number and use it in your phone that you bought in your country, in a few months, your number will be blocked. You cannot use it anymore. So in this video, I'm going to tell you how to register your um, local phone number so it won't be blocked even. You can use it for a long time. You can use it like a year or something. So watch this video until the end. My name is Soki Misa. I'm your host in Bali. So welcome to WhatsApp Bali channel, the number one channel for you to know how to travel to Bali, how to stay in Bali, and condition in Bali now. If you're interested on those, consider to subscribe. Guys, I know to avoid roaming and to be able to do like ordering an online taxi, like Gojek, Grab, it's just like Uber in your country, or to be able to buy something from the Indonesian marketplace like Tokopedia, Shopee, you know, like Amazon in your country, or even access your local bank if you already have a local bank. You need to have a local phone number, the local SIM card. And you know, there's some option out there. We got Sympathy from Telkom Cell, we got the Pro Excel, we got IM3 from Indosat. But if I may suggest, if you like to explore Bali, you know, not only stay in the big city, I suggest go with the Sympathy Telkom Cell because they have more better coverage. So let me, let me show you some examples what you can do if you have a local phone number. I'm gonna show you now how you order an online taxi. Which is, in Indonesia, it's not only car, but can be also a scooter. So there's a scooter taxi also. Here you go. Let's go to the Grab. If I click Grab, there you go. You see, there's a food, there's a bike, there's a car, there's Express, and there's Smart. Let me, let me tell you one by one. Food, that means you ask them to buy food from your favorite restaurant. Bike is a taxi, but with scooter, with bike. And car is a taxi, it's normal like, like Uber in your country, okay? Car taxi. And an express is um, uh, send a package. Like for instance, you wanna send a document to your office, office because you cannot work today. And Mark, you ask them to go shopping for you. For the first one, let's buy some food, okay? I click food here. As I mentioned, there's uh, sometimes there's a discount mentioned. Look, near me, so that means the restaurant near you, and then best selling, of course, restaurant who have a best selling, and there's a restaurant also discount up to 100,000 innocent rupiah, local agent, etc. Let's click the near me restaurant. And there you go. You have a McDonald's, Warung Jawa, Pawan Kiss, etc. All you need to do just, let's say, McDonald. <laughs> Let's choose a simple one. Um, I don't know. Here, uh, rice and chicken, rice and chicken package with drink. Okay, cost you forty-eight five hundred. So it's about like it's, it's three dollars. Okay, it's three dollars. Drink, two chicken and one rice. If you if you want it, then just add two basket, and then you pay. You can pay through the application, or you can also pay when the food is arrived. Of course, before you can use this, you need to register first. See, down below there's account. Click the account and you have to, to fill in the profile here first before you can use this application. Uh, actually, this also goes to the Gojek. Here, Gojek. This the, the this is the Gojek. My money there in GoPay is 123,000 in rupiah. Uh, here at GoRide, GoRide, is a scooter taxi, go car is a normal taxi, and we got go food that means to order food like grab the application that we, we see earlier, and then we got go send is to send a document or go send something. I don't know, maybe you forgot your handphone and you ask your wife to send it to your office. You can use go send, go mark to go shopping, etc. etc. Now, let me show you something if you buy something, some product, like in fact, all my YouTube. Um, equipment like the microphone up there, my GoPro, what else, um, the gimbal, even the GoPro itself. I bought it through Indonesian Marketplace. I bought it through Shopee and Tokopedia. Because you know in Bali, they, especially for the electronics, it's, not, uh, it's more better in Jakarta or Surabaya. They have more, more, um, more choice. And also the price is a bit cheaper there. Here in Bali, a bit higher for electronics. Now I'm going to show you how to shop. Okay, like um, Amazon, but Indonesian, local one. We got Toko, in my old phone, I got Shopee, I got Tokopedia. 
Now let me show you um, Tokopedia. Okay. There you go. There's a lot of product here. Now let's say uh, on the search column up there, let's say I search for I don't know uh, iPhone um, 13 for instance. And there you go. See here, iBox iPhone 13, uh, 13 million Indonesian rupiah. And here we got iPhone 13, 128 gigabyte, 13.6 million. Let's say if we choose uh, this one for instance. There you go. And then you can choose here uh, is it the one that 128 gigabyte or 256 gigabyte or 512 let's say the 128 gigabyte we choose and then the color let's go to with red if you want it you can put it in the back in the your back and then you can see here there you go you have to pay now you can pay let's say uh if we choose this i hope i don't have to pay this because <laughs> i don't want my my wife get angry with me. ah here you can pay with the uh, GoPay. You see, remember at the beginning I saw you my uh, money in the GoPay is one hundred twenty-three thousand or something. Well, you can pay with GoPay or uh, you can pay with your bank. There's a BCR virtual account and BRI. That's why I said you can use this if you have a local bank because you can also pay with the local bank. Uh, unfortunately, with this much of amount, you cannot pay when the COD like cash on delivery. You cannot do that because it's so big you can only do cod if below 500 000 in group yeah but like this you have to pay it first the application will hold the payment until you receive your handphone after you check it if it's okay then the, and then you send it's okay and then the application will pay the shop now how to get those local number without being blocked in a few months okay i got two categories first is for those who want to stay in Indonesia, in Bali, less than 90 days, less than three months, more or less. And the other one is for those who want to stay in Bali for more than 90 days, more than three months. Let's say if you work here or you have a business here, or maybe you are um, what you call a digital nomad, so you stay here like a year or more, then there's also a way for that. Now it's for you who want to stay in Bali less than 90 days. All you need to do, just go to one of the SIM card store, SIM card provider shop. Sometimes you also can do it in the, what you call it, a phone counter or, or, or SIM card counter down the road. Just tell them that you want them to also activate the SIM card. For, and for that, you need to bring your passport. And that's it, easy. Your local number will be activated within, I don't know, an hour or something and safe to use less than 90 days. Now, for you who want to stay more than 90 days, like I said, it's for digital nomad or maybe you have a you have a business here in Bali or you're retired in Bali. So this is how. You have to register your phone email at the moment you arrive at the airport in Indonesia. In this case, in Bali. They have a special counter for that. And then you go, so you went there, just ask the custom officers, tell them that you want to register your email. And then you have to fill in some form. But actually, you can also speed up the process by go to this website. Okay, go to this website. Is let me read it www.bechukai.go.id check email html so you go to this website i also mentioned down in the description and then you fill in some form there after you fill in some form after you submit it you will receive a qr code so when you arrive at the custom at the airport all you gotta do is just scan the qr code that you got and that's it you pay okay how about if i already here so you can also can go to that website okay you can go to that website and then after you got your qr code you have to go to the office of custom of Biachukai. Uh, just google it or ask your hotel where you're staying all you need to do is type here bea cukai bea cukai means custom okay type bea cukai then pasar and there you go it's the office of monitoring and service for custom kantor pengawasan dan pelayanan bea cukai here you have the address and you have the phone number there and also you can you know click this the map the google map for direction all you gotta do just type start or you're gonna see the direction just click direction and then they show you from where you are go there scan the QR code and pay let me show you how the form look like if you go to that website so you go to this the first one is mentioned there formulir pendaftaran email okay click that 
email registration and you tap here uh, your flight number and then time of arrival the passport uh, identity number your nationality the device put at the brand like for instance iPhone uh, iPhone I don't know iPhone 13 the number of RAM the capacity the colors etc and then email and then device number two and you have to mention also here um, the current the how much is it in, uh, and then you have to choose this to let's say for instance you come from uh, US and tap there how much the cost of your phone and for device number two so as I mentioned earlier you, you are you can have you can so as I mentioned earlier you can register two device and you have to upload the comment here if there is and then send and then you will receive a QR code which you have to show it at the custom uh, counter at the airport or if you're already here that the one that you show to the uh, office of Bia Cukai. So as you can see each driver can have two mobile phone or let's say one phone and one iPad cellular so each person can have two units and then after you fill in all that submit it and you got the QR code then then you pay pay okay how much you got 500 US dollars discount but to get the discount you have to do it before you reach five days in Indonesia so this is how it goes for example the price of your phone is let's say 750 US dollars so 750 US dollars minus 500 US dollar discount and it's equal 250 US dollars and then from that 250 US dollars you get 10% tax which is equal 25 US dollars and then from that 250 US dollars you also can get 11 VAT federal tax which equals 27.5 US dollars then another one is 250 times 20% if you are a foreigner if you are not foreigner let's say you are Indonesian who buy a phone there abroad when they're holiday then only got 10% but if you because you're a foreigner you don't have a, a tax number here in Indonesia so you got 20% so anyway your phone which costs 750 US dollars you need to pay tax is about 102.5 US dollars just pay that and then there you go you can use local number as long as you want well if you still have any question just go to one of those provider or the, the sim card the office of the sim card that you want to buy i mean you can go to the for the telecom sale you can go to the grab party or you can go to the pro excel if you want to buy the pro excel just go there and tell them that you want to use the number for more than 90 days ask them to explain it to you really step by step maybe you take some note or something and don't worry they're gonna help you because you're gonna buy their card well so until then oops <laughs> so all right then so until then uh share this video so more and more people know about this thing how to activate their local number and don't forget to subscribe for those who haven't and don't forget to hit the notification bell so you won't miss any update from me regarding how to travel to bali by travel regulation and coalition bali now and i'm your host in bali i'm gonna swim now